And now, marine weather around Alaska. Hi, I'm National Weather Service meteorologist Peter Chan, and this is your Alaska Marine Weather Outlook on Thursday, April 18th. This covers the period of Friday into Saturday as we start the early weekend. We start out, though, with the sea ice uh, this Thursday afternoon is extensive yet across areas of Kuskokwim Bay and extends westward uh, the ice, at least the more significant pack ice there to around St. Matthew. The edge continues to melt off uh, down here in the southeast part of the bearing. And we have winds on one side of a trough that's running down here through the, the west side of the state. Winds are southeast to east, but on this side, winds are more northwesterly or has a nor northerly component. So again, the ice over this way could advance a little southward over the next day or two. Here's low pressure in the North Pacific. It's got a front that arcs around it through the Alaska Peninsula around Kodiak Island and then south of the Gulf. This is an atmospheric river, a steady stream of moisture that has origins down toward the subtropics well west of the continental U.S. And this big high pressure sitting over northern western Canada with the ridge extending into the mainland, that's providing clear skies, warmer daytime temperatures along the Elkan border, and especially Panhandle, where temperatures will continue to be in the 50s, even some 60s here Friday afternoon and again on Saturday. This frontal boundary washes off to more, more of a trough on Friday with a couple of lows continuing and then into Saturday. It's just a collection of weak lows from just southwest of Haida Gwaii back through the North Pacific, south of the Alaska Peninsula, and then from the southeast bearing back toward the western bearing. Not much to these lows in particular in that old stationary front. So it's going to try to push northeastward and weaken on Sunday so that maybe by Sunday there could be a few light showers make it up into the areas of the Panhandle and uh, northern Gulf Coast. So. Uh, marine forecast Friday, look for winds to be north, northeast, uh, Lynn Canal down through Stevens Passage, two to three foot waves. Southeast winds to 15 knots there around Ketchikan and Metlakatla at uh, Dixon entrance. The outer coast near shore waters within 15 nautical miles of shore. Winds will be southeast, 15 to 20 knots. Swells generally eight, nine feet, maybe as high as 10 to 12 feet there outside of Yakutat Bay to Cape Suckling. Southeast winds Saturday, 10 knots waves, just a foot or two within the inner channels. Easterly offshore flow, 10 to 15 knots for the outer coast there along the Gulf with uh, swells of seven to eight feet. Strongest winds Friday in the Northwestern Gulf will be at the entrance of Cook Inlet, 35 to 40 knot uh, gales out of the east that are uh, there just northeast of uh, Kodiak Island, 35 knot northeasterly winds off the Kenai coast. Northeasterly winds to 20 knots in Prince William Sound with three to four foot waves. Saturday, the winds will come down a bit. 10 knot northeast winds within Prince William Sound, a couple of foot waves, 15 knot winds, upper Cook Inlet waves, maybe three, four feet there. Still 25 to 30 knot easterly winds, lower Cook Inlet and uh, northeast there of Kodiak Island. On Friday, winds around Kodiak Island will be northeast through Shelikoff Strait at 30 knots. Easterly on the east side of Kodiak Island, we still have that moisture feed coming in, up, especially the north side of the island on up into the tip of the Alaska uh, or of the Kenai Peninsula. Down along the length of the Alaska Peninsula, winds will be east-northeast, right around 15 knots. And then for Saturday, winds come down further northeast to nor uh, east winds at 20 knots around Kodiak Island. And then look for generally northeast winds, 10 to 15 knots down the length of the Alaska Peninsula. Waves maybe three to six feet on the uh, North Pacific side and two to three feet on the Bering side. Strongest winds in the Aleutians Friday will be as a result of being on the backside of the, the low that's sitting down where I'm standing. And at 30 knots or so around Unalaska toward Nikolsky, snow should gradually be winding down. Variable winds around 10 knots north of Atka and Adak. Uh, and by Saturday, winds will come down further through the eastern Aleutians, generally northwest winds 15 to 20 knots, extending out to around Atka and Adak waves. Uh, four to seven feet on the North Pacific side and maybe five to eight foot swells on the Bering side. For the Southwest Coast, Pribilov Islands being, we have this trough that's kind of sitting through here. Look for Northeast winds 15 to 20 knots out, out of uh, Bristol and Kuskokwim Bays. East winds out of Norton Sound. Northerly winds though, along the lower Yukon Delta and then north winds as high as 30 knots around St. Paul and St. George. For Saturday, the offshore flow will push a little further westward. We'll have a weak low in the vicinity of the Pripilovs and 
So look for northeast winds 10 knots out of Bristol Bay, easterly winds Kuskokwim Bay 15 knots, and then off the lower Yukon Delta and uh, into Norton Sound, east to northeast winds 15 to 20 knots. For the areas through the Bering Strait, look for winds to be out of the northeast uh, to north, right around 15 knots, especially the west side of the Seward Peninsula and around uh, St. Lawrence Island. As we come up the Chuck GC, winds turn back to the south, southwest, uh, 10 to 20 knots there along the northwest coast, but then uh, go back around to the east, southeast, 20 to 25 knots along the Arctic coast from Ukiavik to Kaktovik. And for Saturday, winds are going to turn back around to the west, 10 to 15 knots along the Arctic coast to just past Wainwright. And then look for more northerly winds through the lower Chukchi Sea, passing through the Bering Strait around 20 knots and as high as 25 knots in the vicinity of Gamble on the north side of St. Lawrence Island.